Yep. Yep. All good. Thanks, Commissioner. Uh, this year we started referring to um, fatalities on our road roads as lives lost, and we did that to remind people that we're talking about members of our community who have tragically passed away as a result of a vehicle collision. Um, to move away from that desensitising road toll uh, phrase that we've used for so many years. And sadly, uh, the, uh, the, the, the real tragedy of uh, road fatalities has been brought home to the South Australia Police yesterday uh, when we lost one of our finest senior police officers, Detective Chief Superintendent Joanne Shanahan. Joanne was a passenger in one of the vehicles involved in the collision at uh, Urbray yesterday at about 1.40pm. The car was being driven by her husband Peter, who was a retired police detective and currently General Counsel for the South Australia Police in a senior legal leadership role. Thankfully, Peter escaped serious injuries um, and was able to return home with his children last night. Joanne is survived by Peter and her two adult children, and she was a dear friend. Joanne joined SAPOL in 1981 and is a highly respected member of the organisation. In 2002, she was promoted to the rank of inspector, and she worked in many areas uh, in the organisation as a manager and leader, including CIB, specialist crime areas, and with a particular focus on domestic violence. She was integral in the establishment of our multi-agency protection service, which has served so many victims of domestic violence so well. And she was appointed the inaugural officer in charge of our family and domestic violence branch. Joanne's most recent role was a critical one, where she played a leadership role in the police operations centre for SAPOL's COVID-19 response. She was awarded the Australian Police Medal in 2019 for her outstanding service to the organisation and to the community of South Australia. Not only have we lost a beautiful person, but we've lost an officer with a wealth of knowledge. Detective Chief Superintendent Joanne Shanahan leaves an overwhelming mark on SAPOL. Not only did SAPOL lose an, an important member of their family last night, but there is another family feeling just as much pain, and that's the family of Tanya McNeil. Tanya also lost her life in that collision yesterday. I've been asked by the family of Tanya to read a statement. This is their statement. Yesterday afternoon, we lost our beloved Tanya at the age of 53. Tanya is survived by her husband, son, parents and sister. Tanya was a loving, vibrant lady who enjoyed a good laugh. She was a kind and loving mother, wife, daughter and sister who would do anything for anyone. She will be greatly missed by family and friends. Tanya worked extremely hard in her day job as well as helping out with the family business. Words cannot describe the pain our family are feeling at this time. Tanya's loss will be deeply felt by so many forever. We ask for privacy during this time. Are there any questions? Can we just hold it there for a second? Uh, we've been uh, sorry. We've been overwhelmed with um, the outpouring of grief um, as a result of Joanne's passing, um, and not just from members of South Australia Police, but other people in the community who um, came to know her so well through her role as a police officer and the way she reached out and supported so many people, um, victims of crime, victims of domestic violence, um, supported other people in, in other public sector organisations and the community generally. It's um, I think it's a true testament to the type of person that she was that so many people are reaching out at this point in time. It must have been incredibly hard for the first responders there for sure. Uh, any vehicle collision is a difficult uh, situation for police officers, uh, South Australian ambulance officers and fire officers who attend, um, but never more so than when it's one of your own, whether it be a family member, which happens in the country, or a member of the SAPOL family. Are you able to provide an update on um, the investigation into the car? 
it's too early to make any specific conclusions at this point in time. The investigation is ongoing, but we understand excessive speed was a factor in the collision. How is the driver, the 20-year-old driver, doing? Do you know? uh, no, he's currently in hospital. I don't have an update in relation to his condition. Commissioner, you and your officers get up here several times a year um, and at crash sites right across the state talking about um, lives lost and people losing family. And now it's an to get home to you. What would your message be to South Australians on the roads right now having experienced what you've experienced and your message to them? Uh, the message is... is unfortunately the same. We repeat this message time and time again. We urge people to take care on our roads, do the right thing, drive with, uh, with a due regard to the, the obligations you have to protect yourselves and other people and be acutely aware of the potential consequences for poor decisions on our roads. This is uh, it, it's an occasion when uh, it brings, brings to the front of our minds just how important it is that we look after each other and uh, in this particular time with our response to COVID-19 and the pressures it puts on our community, uh, we need to remember that there are other things happening and other people are going through very, very tragic circumstances and uh, we need to be there for each other. Obviously with what happened in Victoria last week when it was officers in the line of duty doing yes. their job, but for Joanne just to be out with her family and just a, just that hideous split time in her split second. And, and this is the... Um, this is the harsh reality of it. It's um, no one plans, no one leaves their driveway thinking they're going to be involved in a serious collision. Uh, no one thinks about this being the last day that they're going to be alive. But uh, this is the reality of um, uh, dangerous road use. We we need to be very careful on our roads, and you don't have to be at fault. You have to be absolutely alert all the time, regardless of how you're using our roads. The final question. Uh, it's just the type of work Joanne has done, obviously more recently with COVID nineteen, but. Domestic violence, it seems a lot of her roles were really about helping people, helping the community. It was in her nature um, to help. Um, there are so many people, so many victims of crime um, who have a, a strong, ongoing personal relationship with Joanne because of the way she approached them, her, her, her passion for helping people and, and the way she cared about people, not just her friends and her family, but people who she genuinely held concerns for and supported during very difficult times as a police officer. Uh, I know of many people who have an enduring friendship, had an enduring friendship with Joanne as a result of that direct professional uh, exposure. It's, um, it's a true testament to her that so many people are grieving at this time. And she received the Australian Police Medal just in 2019, I think the third female in SA Police to be Chief Superintendent of Police. So obviously, you know, a very decorated officer held in extremely high regard. Yeah, uh, Joanne was duly recognised by the Australian Police Medal. Um, for so many aspects of her work over a, an expansive career of uh, nearly 40 years. Um, she's not just a friend that we've lost, but she is a highly qualified uh, officer who has contributed so much and th there is a big gap left by her passing. Just, just the scene you would have arrived to yesterday at Earth Road, obviously there's a personal connection there, but how, I mean, can you describe that, what you saw when you got there yesterday and just how awful it was? Um, I've been to many crash scenes, but uh, yesterday was one of the most uh, horrific crash scenes I've, I've ever attended. It was um, absolute carnage, and it was shocking to see. And I'm still concerned about the officers who had to deal with that, that particular incident. And I certainly reach out to the other emergency services personnel who are in attendance, and we're grateful for the work that they did. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you.